Hi everybody. The German tech magazine CT picked up an AMD A12 9800 APU with an Asus A320M CA4 mainboard and did a short review. Interestingly, although the A320 promotory chipset does support USB 3.1, Asus did not make use of this function. There are USB 3.1 soldering marks visible on the mainboard, but ACES did not use them. Even in the device manager, there was an AMD USB 3.1 extensible host control visible and working. The magazine also says that they had the same observation with an HP Bristol Ridge AM4 Pavilion PC that featured an A10 9700 APU. It looks like that those rumors from about six months ago that since chipset had a limitation that could increase cost, could be true or could have been true. eTechnics had an article about this with following quote. Because of the sense chipset's design limitations, USB 3.1 transmission speeds drop dramatically as circuit distance increases, forcing PC and motherboard players to add additional read timer and read driver chips or even an independent USB 3.1 IC in order for the function to work properly. This has thus increased the maker's costs. While this remains speculation, it could have had an impact on Ryzen's launch date, I guess. But yeah, we don't know. But coming back to the review, the magazine says that the BIOS was a bit premature and the mainboard had a relatively high power draw. But I think that's pretty normal for a non-retail board. And as you know, originally Zen should have come in October 2016, but has been pushed back to Q1 2017. And it seems like AMD did not want to wait until the final Zen design is complete to ship their Bristol Ridge APUs. So they teamed up with Asus and HP and provided some early boards to be used by OEMs or by HP themselves. But now let's go to the, their benchmark results. Sadly, CT did not put a lot of effort in benchmarking and only provided numbers for Cinebench, Ada, Firestrike and Dirt Rally. In Cinebench they compared the APU to an i3-6100 and the Intel CPU was about 20% faster. Dirt Rally was playable in 1080p without anti-aliasing while using 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM in dual channel mode. So I hope I was able to share with you some useful or interesting information. If you like more of it, give it a like, subscribe or leave a comment. Also in a few days I should receive an A12-9800 and I will bench the hell out of it with games and everything else. So stay tuned, see ya.